All right, Kate, Amsterdam police are busy investigating a case of stolen statues from a Buddhist temple. This is the temple being set up in a former Catholic church in the city. Members of the group discovered the items were missing after they had been away for a few days. As Fox 23's Walt McClure tells us, live from Amsterdam, uh, that group is hoping somebody out there can help get the items back. They say this stuff, stuff is priceless, right, Walt? They do, John. You know, for more than a century, this building was a house of worship for the Catholic, for people of the Catholic faith. Now this group of Buddhists that have been using it for a few months are worshiping here. They say that the items that were taken, are, they're upset these items were taken and that the thieves will get what's coming to them. The altar at the Five Buddha Temple in Amsterdam looks very similar to when it was St. Casimir's Catholic Church, something the Buddhist World Peace and Health Organization did on purpose, out of respect, while they try to help make people healthier through Eastern methods. It is inside the uh, healing from uh, both your physical body and also your spiritual mind. But Jenny Wong's body and spirit were hurt when she and some other group members first found missing copper piping from this building and others they own nearby then found eight Buddha statues missing, including a priceless antique one shipped here from Hong Kong. Shock and very sad, very upset. It's priceless. It's priceless in terms of its historical value, its religious value, and also its artistic value. Uh, artistic value. With Jenny Wan interpreting, the group's leader, Master Zi Gong Sang Shi, told me it's unfortunate this happened at such a happy time for them, and despite the openness of many in Amsterdam, he worries what these few bad apples will do to the city. They are going to destroy the, the, friends, the friendship, the stability, and the peace of this city. Jenny Wong says these items are too obvious to easily unload and that the thieves won't get away with this legally or spiritually. When the people, they are stolen the uh, Buddha statue away, it will have very bad karma, very bad, very bad things. If nothing else, they might have a bad back because Jenny says it would take at least three people to lift that one statue. Now, Jenny and the master both say they have the utmost confidence in the Amsterdam police to solve this case. They're hoping the public will provide some tips, and the police say they are following up some leads on this and some other copper thefts in the city. We're live in Amsterdam tonight. Walt McClure, Fox 23 News.